Have you heard the news? The European Space Agency's flagship mission to Jupiter and its icy moons is officially underway with the successful launch of the JUICE Jupiter Ice Moons Explorer spacecraft. This mission comes at a high cost of 1.6 billion euros, or 1.77 billion USD. But what adventures await JUICE after its launch? Will it observe fainter auroras or discover something equally fascinating? And can the scientists involved in the mission relax for the next eight years now that the spacecraft is launched? In this video, we'll explore the answers to these questions. Recently, the JUICE spacecraft blasted off from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana, embarking on an eight-year journey to Jupiter. However, the excitement doesn't stop there. Scientists are thrilled for JUICE's mission because it will not only perform flybys of Venus and Earth, but also attempt to gain gravity assistance to accelerate towards its encounter with Jupiter in 2031. This encounter is not too far off, and we may receive new and exciting information from JUICE and Jupiter soon. Nevertheless, the launch of JUICE doesn't mean that scientists can now relax and take it easy for the next eight years. Randy Gladstone, the principal investigator on JUICE's ultraviolet spectrograph, explains that scientists will be kept busy planning and replanning throughout the mission. Space missions don't end once a spacecraft launches. Scientists must continue to work hard to ensure the spacecraft's instruments and other components operate smoothly to make amazing scientific discoveries. When JUICE returns to Earth in August 2024 for a flyby and gravity assist, there isn't where the assist will end. Keep watching to learn more, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button. Once the spacecraft returns, scientists plan to send it in system for a rendezvous and gravity assist at Venus in August of 2025, followed by two more gravity assists in September 2026 and January 2029. The latter assist will take advantage of the dance of the planets, propelling juice towards Jupiter at high speed. While the instruments have been checked on Earth, scientists will use these flybys to fine-tune them and learn more about the spacecraft's capabilities to avoid future mishaps. Gladstone's team will compare the known spectra of stars with what the UVS observes, fine-tuning the instruments until observations match the spectra on file. Calibration will take place during flybys of Earth and Venus, while JUICE will shield its instruments from the sun using its antenna dish as a parasol. This is necessary to avoid damage that could render the instruments unusable. At Venus, the sun is too hot to operate, but the Earth flybys will be valuable for calibration before the spacecraft heads to Jupiter. After its final flyby of Earth, JUICE will be slingshotted on a trajectory towards Jupiter, where it will join Juno, assuming it is still functioning. JUICE will provide early warning for both Juno and NASA's Europa Clipper missions if there is a powerful and potentially harmful solar flare directed at Jupiter. The UVS will map ultraviolet emissions, which can detect tiny amounts of gases in Jupiter's moon's tenuous atmospheres. These atmospheres are known to cling to the moons and sputter off their surfaces due to micrometeorite impacts. Did you know that the atmospheres of planets can be observed directly through their ultraviolet emissions? This happens when atoms and molecules are excited by collisions with charged particles in Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere. But that's not all. We can also observe these atmospheres indirectly by watching a moon's exosphere absorb some of the light of a star or the sun during an occultation. According to Gladstone, the ultraviolet sunlight reflected by Jupiter's moons can reveal details about their surfaces, including their composition and structure. But here's where things get more exciting. The ultraviolet spectrography on board Jupiter's Icy Moons Explorer will be able to study the ultraviolet auras that flicker around Jupiter's magnetic poles, including the fainter ones that Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope cannot observe. JUICE's mission is not only to observe these faint auroras, but also to provide an unprecedented tour of the Jovian system, among other things. According to Gladstone, there's a lot of great stuff to learn. Are you excited about JUICE's mission and the prospect of seeing these faint auroras? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to stay updated on more videos about space telescopes, NASA news, and other space updates. See you in the next video.